It's right at the tongue. You can see here, here's the tongue. And just below the tongue is that tissue right there that is connecting the tongue to the bottom or the base of the mouth. And so that area right there, this tissue right there, this pinned by or labeled by the blue pin, uh, is the what? The frenulum for the tongue, which is the lingual frenulum. So you need to be specific. Okay, off to the side here, we actually have uh, this right here, which is actually pinning a muscle. The muscle is at the corner of the jaw. Uh, it actually is red right where the uh, mandibular angle would be. And so its job is to actually close the jaw associated with chewing or what would be known as mastication. <laughs> so the muscle would be known as the masseter. masseter. All right, just below that is this glandular structure right here. And so we can actually see here, uh, we got this nice little glandular structure and we have the, uh, the jugular running in between it. So this glandular structure here that is labeled by the green pin is the submandibular gland. Now, one of the things that I actually was able to find on the cat as I was setting this cat up to uh, show you the digestive structures is this nice, beautiful blood vessel right here, right here, that is actually connecting this jugular to this jugular. So guess what that is? Transverse, Transverse jugular. And so you should be able to identify that for your exam Thursday. that will be this Thursday. Well, for those of you who are in the Tuesday, Thursday class. Those of you in the Wednesday class, it'd be tomorrow. <laughs> okay, as we head downwards, we have, of course, the trachea. trachea. Just below the trachea, we have this structure right here, which is labeled with a white pin. This, of course, is the esophagus. The esophagus. And the esophagus runs all the way down past the stomach, I mean, past the stomach, past the heart, and down through the diaphragm towards the stomach. Before we can get there, I want to talk about this structure right here, which is pinned with a blue pen. This is the liver. Also embedded inside the liver is this sac-like structure pinned with a black pen. That, of course, would be the gallbladder. Fantastic. So now I'm going to move this backwards a little bit so we can actually see this structure right here, which is labeled with a red pen. That's your test time. What is this large structure right here? Stomach. That's the stomach. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and so now the stomach is actually connected to the liver by this membranous structure right here. You can actually see it right, right there, labeled with the small green pen. See it right in there, this little area there. Mm -hmm. That would be the lesser omentum there. That's the lesser omentum. So the small green pen is the lesser omentum. As we head downwards, we can actually see here, we got this small intestine right here. And the small intestine is connecting to that of the stomach. So here we have the stomach labeled in red. And here we have the small intestine, uh, or the portion of the small intestine that is connecting the stomach to the small intestine, labeled with a red and yellow. Actually, put red and yellow because that is to help you remember that this is the stomach, and then all the structures associated with the small intestine will have yellow in it. Uh, so this is actually the what? The duodenum. Fantastic. So that's what that is. So the red and yellow pen right there is depicting the duodenum. Now the duodenum will then. Actually, I don't know why it's actually all twisted up here. Okay. There we go. The widener will actually run through here. There it is there coming up. And it will actually go through and form uh, this structure right here, which is the rest of the intestine here, which would be the, uh, and you can see labeled with a yellow and white pen, uh, would be the jejunum. So that's the jejunum there. Then the jejunum uh, continues to wind and twist and turn, uh, and then eventually, stay in there, okay. And then eventually uh, get to this point right here, where it will then connect to the large intestine. You can actually see the small intestine to that of the large intestine. See how large the large intestine is to the small intestine? So this structure connects the small intestine to the large intestine. So it is the ileum. ileum. So this green and yellow pen depicts the ileum. Fantastic. Now before we get on to the large intestine, I want to come back over here. Uh, this red and blue pen here uh, is actually pinning this membranous structure with the blood vessels in it, and that of course is the mesentery. Mesentery. Fantastic. Okay, so now let's get back over here. Um, 
Now, back to the large intestine. Let's so get everything set up. Here we go. Okay. Now, the large intestine right here, uh, as we insert into the large intestine, we have this area of the large intestine down at the bottom here, uh, which is the what? This is the cecum. And so the cecum is labeled with green and blue. Okay? So here we have the cecum right there, labeled in green and blue. Now, the cat doesn't have an appendix, but it does have uh, epiploic appendages. And this particular epiploic appendage, which is right here, uh, is actually very close to where the uh, appendix would be in a human. So if I was to pin this in the cat, uh, I would expect you to tell me that that's the, uh, the appendix. All right, as we move upwards, we now come across this part, this portion of the large intestine right here, and it's going up. So this is the ascending, ascending colon, labeled by the green and white pen. Then we have this part of the colon, which is actually going across. So this, labeled with the green and black, is the transverse colon. Fantastic. Then we have this part of the large intestine, which is going down. Labeled by a green and red pen. Descending. Descending colon. Fantastic. And then we have this part of the colon, which kind of makes a little S shape right there. Sigmoid, Sigmoid colon. Labeled by a blue and yellow pen. And then down here, uh, this large yellow pen is actually uh, labeling this last part down here, heading into the pelvic cavity. And so that is the rectum. The rectum. Fantastic. That is the rectum. Now there are additional structures you need to be able to identify, which includes uh, the green and white pen structure right here, which is the, the spleen, fantastic. The blue and white structure right here, which is the, right there, see it? Oh, that right there? That would be the pancreas. pancreas. Yes, the pancreas. Uh, what's also missing, you should be able to identify, is the greater omentum. So you do need to be able to identify that. And of course, uh, you do need to be able to identify this blood vessel right here, uh, which is associated with the cat. And that's, of course, the iliolumbar. The iliolumbar artery and vein right there. So that you do need to be able to identify. Now, uh, in addition to all of those structures that I just talked about, you do need to be able to identify some of the blood vessels uh, that you should know for the second exam on here. Like for instance, the femoral artery and vein, the external artery and uh, or external iliac uh, artery and vein, uh, the uh, aorta and the inferior vena cava. Uh, you should be able to identify uh, some of the blood vessels up here like the carotid artery and the internal and external jugular, such and such, okay? So you do need to be able to identify all of that. So again, that is uh, all associated with the digestive system. So if you'll give me a few minutes, I will remove some of the pins and pin the respiratory system.